Hi, welcome back. So in the last video, I mentioned that what I want to do is I want to just verify this formula here. And um, so to do that, what we want to show is that I substitute the definition of the field. I'm using the definition that we use in this course for the squiggly K. I might leave off some vector symbols here and there, I always forget, but the context should make clear whether they're four vectors or not. Okay. So, these are operators. I left out the only thing that was an operator here. Um, That should be an A, K. So everything else is just space time, but this is an operator, this is an operator, and this is an operator. So this is what we need to evaluate. And you can do it by hand, you can, it's not hard or anything like that, but I just want to point out that in the um, Mastering Quantum Mechanics course, they had a formula sheet, and um, I printed it out. And it sort of has all these equations that you'll find useful. And in this case, there's something called the uh, commutative identities. So I'm just going to use one of these commutator identities. And I, you know, I always recommend, you know, we don't have to invent the wheel every time. Oops. So this is a general equation. There's no conditions on the operators A and B. So um, in our particular case, we have A equal I H zero T and B equal A of K. Okay, so let's do the first one. This one over here, we need the commutator of I H zero T comma A of K. And substituting our definition of that field Hamiltonian that we have there, this is simply equal to commutator I T integral d3 k prime 2 pi cubed 2 omega prime a dagger k prime a k prime comma a k okay so we can take the numbers and the integral outside of the commutator, and it's just this thing over here. So this is equal to I T. I left out an omega on that Hamiltonian. Yeah, it's over there, it's omega. Should be an omega prime here. Which will cancel out the omega prime in the denominator. So I'm going to get I T over two integral D three K prime 
2 pi cubed times the commutator a dagger k prime a k prime comma a k. Okay, I'm going to continue on this board. Don't think I need this anymore. All right, um, I'm sure you know by now standard A comma B C is equal, is that what I have? Nope. Sorry. These are all just operators. It's equal to A B comma C plus <sighs> you just keep the order on this. One goes outside, and then the other one goes outside. Okay, standard identity can verify in about 10 seconds. So in our case, um, this is a dagger, and these are both A's. So this term won't be present in our case. We'll just have this. So we're going to get um, i t over 2 integral d3 k prime 2 pi cubed times um, commutator a dagger k prime comma a k a k prime. Okay. And this is easy, we know this, I erased it, but we know this is just the delta function. So this is equal to minus sign is because we have a dagger a instead of a a dagger. And since we have this delta function, it takes care of the integral. And this is just equal to, notice this uh, 2 cancels this. This 2 pi cubed cancels this 2 pi cubed. We're just left with minus i omega t a k. OK. So that's the first commutator. And at this point, you might start to get worried and think that the others are going to be a lot harder. But it turns out they're all the same. Because the next one is just a commutator of A, which is I H zero T, comma, and the commutator of A with B, we just figured out minus I omega T A K. And this is just equal to, we can take the number out, scalar, commutator of I h zero t comma a k and then we evaluated this we got this so we end up just getting minus i omega t squared a k very nice result and it's easy to see that all the other commutators are just going to have higher powers here so this integral over here for our formula we're going to get it's going to be equal to B, which is AK. Then it's going to be equal to A comma B, which is this.
and then we're going to have this. And this one's over 2 factorial plus dot, dot, dot. So you can see here, once I factor out the A, And the end result is a nice result. It's just the annihilation operator A times E to the minus I omega T. So going back to what we were originally calculate, now that we have this, uh, this exponential product here, We can say that this is equal to a k e to the minus i omega t. And then the end result, we combine these exponents in a Lorentz covariant manner, and we just get now here these are four vectors. So uh, this is what I wanted to prove. I went through this. I went through this just to do one calculation on the board to show that I could do it. Um, but also just um, to show you how easy a lot of this stuff is. Sometimes they leave out a lot of steps between equations, but you can work it out yourself. None of these is very deep. So I'm going to come back to the uh, sp spin statistics part of this lesson and uh, pursue this a little further. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.